Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Welcome to our class. So let us uh, start today's class. Today's class we are going to discuss, we are going to learn about uh, cast iron. Okay, we are going to learn about cast iron. Cast iron, my today's class regarding cast iron we will discuss microstructure of cast iron and uh, properties of cast iron okay okay friends so let us uh, start today's class first we will have some introduction of this cast iron and uh, we will continue okay yeah so this is cast iron cast iron first we will see the composition of cast iron we came to know we already we have uh, discussed this cast iron in our iron carbon equilibrium diagram in our previous classes you can see that one now we will start composition of cast iron the cast iron consists of two to four percent of carbon and significant amount of silicon okay so these are the additives in this uh, cast iron carbon percentage is 2.5 to 3.7 silicon is 1 to 3 percent manganese is 0.5 to 1 percent phosphorus is 0 0.1 to 0.9 percent sulfur is 0 0.07 to 0 0.1 percent now we will see uh, individually or uh, about carbon silicon manganese phosphorus and sulfur their presence how the cast iron is improved we will discuss now okay right so here carbon can be present in iron as free graphite or as cementite graphite in cast iron makes it soft and acts as lubricant whereas Cementite in cast iron makes it brittle and hard. Okay, makes it brittle and hard. Silicon has a strong graphitizing effect. Silicon has a strong graphitizing effect. It helps to change cementite to graphite and also it helps to form sound castings. Okay, sound castings. Next, manganese is a useful element as it helps to remove sulfur into slag. And talking about this phosphorus, phosphorus in cast iron increases metal fluidity but tends to weaken the castings. Okay? Sulfur is harmful impurity in cast iron. It tends to decrease fluidity and increases shrinkage and cracking okay this is little bit introduction of this cast iron okay now we will move to the microstructure okay now we will move to the microstructure of this cast iron okay so this is the my this is the microstructure now we will discuss this microstructure in detail okay yeah this is the microstructure of cast iron so if you are getting a question regarding uh, this uh, microstructure of cast iron so you have to write uh, as it is uh, you have to frame a table draw the diagrams draw the microstructure regarding individually explain give a good heading of each variety of cast iron draw the microstructure and uh, it will be a good presentation for you to get good marks in your examination okay now let us start uh, learning this uh, microstructure of cast iron but this is the microstructure of the cast iron yeah so this is the cast iron so we know there are four types of uh, cast iron first is gray cast iron malleable cast iron white cast iron and ductile cast iron okay so these are the various uh, uh, microstructures of this cast iron so first if you notice the gray cast iron 
we can we can see the uh, microstructure this is the microstructure of gray cast iron so these are the slag particles which we have can observe the microstructure of this gray cast iron okay so in our lab also in this metallurgy and material science lab if we observe if you take the specimen and if we see the uh, microstructure of this uh, gray cast iron it looks like this okay so these are the slag particles in this in this first structure my first microstructure this is the pyrolite gray cast iron you have to write as it is then only you will get good marks next is the ferrite gray cast iron so first slag particles it is named as pyrolite and second slag particles it is named as ferrite gray cast iron okay next uh, malleable cast iron these are the microstructures of malleable cast iron you can see it okay this is first is the pyrolite malleable malleable cast iron second is the ferrite malleable cast iron okay so this these are the slag particles of the part of malleable cast iron so this is the structure of which occupies the pyrolite and this is the structure which we are giving a name ferrite okay right next white cast iron so in this white cast iron this is the microstructure of this white cast iron so after drawing you can write the name i once again so that uh, it will be a good presentation for you this is the white cast iron and now coming to the ductile so ductile also we are having the two structures so first is pyrolite ductile cast iron second is the ferrite ductile cast iron so these are the slag slag particles present in the pyrolite these are the slag particles present in the ferrite okay so these are the four types of uh, these are the microstructure of cast iron so first is the gray malleable white and ductile so they give a good heading and draw the diagrams of each individually and give a uh, description of these things you will get uh, good marks in your examination okay so this is the microstructure of this uh, cast iron next uh, we will see the properties of cast iron what are the properties of cast iron are there okay see these are the properties of uh, cast iron cast iron properties so uh, write the heading properties of cast iron write uh, again write about the cast iron which we are going to explain these are the properties which we are going to explain about the cast iron so we have understood from the iron carbon phase diagram cooled first property is cooled quickly and uh, second property is cooled slowly okay so once it is cooled quickly we are getting white cast iron and once it is uh, cooled slowly we are getting gray cast iron okay here under this uh, white cast iron what we are understanding as uh, the property of uh, cast iron carbon present as cementite okay carbon present as cementite whereas here carbon present as flake graphite okay now carbon here we can understand carbon present at present as cementite here carbon present as flake graphite so once it is uh, uh, carbon is as uh, cementite what is the how the property is changing the cast iron is hard brittle very difficult to machine so as white cast iron under white cast iron what how uh, the nature of the cast iron is it is hard brittle and very difficult to machine whereas gray cast iron here its property is soft easily machine okay now these are the few properties of uh, this cast iron okay so that's all friends for today's class i think all of you understood today's class what we have 
discussed about the microstructure of cast iron properties of cast iron composition of cast iron okay so if you are getting a question regarding cast iron in your examination as what we have discussed today draw the diagrams draw the table okay give a good presentation so that definitely you will get good marks okay so please subscribe our channel friends please subscribe please like and share our channel if you are having any doubts so post your doubts in the comment box i will give you a reply please uh, discuss with your friends regarding uh, the class per going on in our channel okay thank you very much thank you for watching